A reading from Micah, chapter 6. With what shall I come before the Lord and bow myself before God on high? Shall I come before him with burnt offerings, with calves a year old? Will the Lord be pleased with thousands of rams, with ten thousands of rivers of oil? Shall I give my firstborn for my transgression, the fruit of my body, for the sin of my soul? He has told you, O mortal, what is good, and what does the Lord require of you but to do justice, to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, we give thanks for your spirit which has gathered us together this morning. Open our hearts and minds to your living word through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Before a new semester begins, whether or not it's your first semester or your last semester, your third semester or maybe your ninth semester, every student has one thing on their mind. As they look over the class offerings, the class schedules, they are very mindful of the requirements for graduation what they need to complete in order to become an alum of Texas Lutheran University. The requirements are not easy. They will demand your full attention. You will need to make plans around these requirements. Some of those requirements will make immediate sense to you. Some will surprise you and will make sense later in life. And some may never make a bit of sense to you. Nonetheless, they have a purpose a grand purpose, to prepare you for nothing less than an abundant life, a life filled with joy and purpose, a career, opportunities for leadership and service, in short, a life that will make a difference. I called our registrar, Glenn Yaki, up yesterday and asked him for some information on these graduation requirements. He sent me an email with the attachment entitled, Fun with the Catalog. I think he might be the only person on campus who thinks working through these requirements is fun. I guess it takes all kinds to run a university. As an example, and for fun, he sent me over the requirements for the Bachelor of Science degree in Biology, Molecular Biology Specialization. Any of you folks in the room? Oh, wow, I'm impressed. Are you having fun yet? This is part of the old degree plan. As you can see, it requires 12 hours. You may not be able to see it, but trust me. 12 hours in the foundations of liberal education, 36 hours in dimensions of liberal education, and then the hours in the major itself, in this case, 36 to 37 hours in biology, and then supporting courses, 30 hours in chemistry, physics. Are you guys sure you want to be this major? (laughs) And then math and stats. And I guess maybe you get to take an elective somewhere along the way for fun. Then there's a new degree plan. Here's one for history. Under general education, there are now 21 hours in foundation requirements, 30 hours in the distribution of requirements, a new thing called competencies, and then finally course and supporting course requirements for the major. If I were a student, I would certainly make it a point to get to know Glenn Yockey because he will be the one to finally say, yes, you have completed your graduation requirements. However, the requirements that come out of the registrar's office, despite all the great planning and work that has gone into them, and despite how much fun Mr. Yaki has with them, they are not complete. If you want to get the most out of your time here at TLU, you want to do more than just these requirements. You will want to do more than just get a check mark after each category. To get the most out of your TLU experience, you need to go beyond mere requirements. And this year's campus ministry theme from Micah 6.8 will help you with this venture. You see, Micah adds a few more requirements that when applied here at TLU will help you get the most out of your time here at TLU. The sixth chapter of Micah, in the the sixth chapter of Micah, the people of Israel want to know what to do when it comes to their relationship with God. They want to know what kind of things might be required, what might need to be checked off God's graduation degree plan. They ask about burnt offerings with calves a year old, or maybe thousands of rams. What about thousands of rivers of oil? 
and they even suggest giving up their firstborn. God responds. God proclaims, I am not interested in those kinds of requirements. I want you to be in relationship with me, with your community, and with your neighbors. So it is that God speaks of the requirements of relationship. What does the Lord require of you but to do justice and to love kindness and to walk humbly with your God? So add these things to your life here at TLU, justice, kindness, and humility, not as requirements, but as the things that make up your relationship with God, the relationship you have in this community of faith and learning. Do justice. This year's Crow Symposium will be on restorative justice, and it will be a great opportunity to learn more about the issues of peace and justice. Many of your classes will explore the human condition and the issues that affect humanity, issues of poverty, hunger, power, and the sharing of resources. Do justice by learning about these things. Do justice by developing a passion for these things. Do justice by sharpening your skills and talents to battle these things. And in all the learning and discussion, don't forget to do some real concrete things, even now, by getting involved in the Center for Servant Leadership and other organizations that are rolling up their sleeves and engaging our community for community for justice. So do justice. And love kindness. As I told the football team the other day, even linebackers have to practice kindness after the whistle blows. <laughs> after the whistle blows, I want them to reach out and pick up the guy they just knocked down. One of our challenges this year will be to practice random acts of kindness. Our society has become so rude and inconsiderate, and as we get into the heat of this political process, I'm sure it'll get worse. The word kind reminds us that it's about people and not things. It's about relationships, not requirements. We're all of the same kind, and it's about loving your neighbor as yourself. So practice kindness. Reach out to your fellow classmates and make a positive impact on this community. It will help you develop a personality trait that will serve you well, a trait that will serve others well. Love kindness. And walk humbly. The Hebrew word for humility here is not about self-effacing piety or consuming self-doubt, but rather a spirit of wisdom, a spirit of openness. Yesterday in the convocation speech given by Reverend Luther Oakley, he called us to saunter, to wonder as we wander. To walk humbly is to be reflective, to open ourselves up to the unexpected presence of God, and to walk with others knowing that we need others that the journey of faith demands friends and even strangers accompany us. And the key word is walk. Faith is not static, it's dynamic. It's a walk, it's a way. Jesus said, the way. Jesus did not say, have you arrived? He says, come and follow me. So walk humbly with your God. Saunter this semester. To be a, we begin the walk. Today we begin the adventure that will be this academic year, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to experience the incredible transformation of education in a community of faith and learning. Pay attention to Glenn Yaki's list of requirements. Make sure he's your friend on Facebook, or not, if you're not behaving. <laughs> and don't forget the words of Micah, the things that complete the TLU experience. Do justice love kindness, and walk humbly. Amen.